Are you up? What's that smell? Did you bring home Greek food? No, that's me. That's how you smell after you ride a bike all over Williamsburg delivering 14 orders of cupcakes. And I do not wish to smell like this again, so you have to learn how to ride that bike, all right? Are you up? What's that smell? Did you bring home Greek food? No, that's me. That's how you smell after you ride a bike all over Williamsburg delivering 14 orders of cupcakes. And I do not wish to smell like this again, so you have to learn how to ride that bike, all right? 下面我来按照元素跟读一遍，大家看一看下划线的部分能不能听出来是什么单词。Are you up? What's the smell? Did you bring home Greek food? No, that's me. That's how you smile after you ride a bike all over Williamsburg delivering 14 orders of cupcakes. And I do not wish to smile like this again. So you have to learn how to ride that bike. All right. All right. 公布答案。第一个是 ride, ride. 还有骑马、骑摩托车、骑自行车的意思。第二个是 orders, orders, 订单、订货。所以这个句子的意思就是说，你没睡吧？怎么有股味儿？你打包了希腊菜回家吗？没，那是我的味道。我身上有这股味儿，是因为我骑着自行车跑遍了整个威廉斯堡，送了14笔小蛋糕外卖，而我不希望身上再有这种味道了。所以你一定要学会骑自行车，明白吗 ？OK， 咱们来看一下语音部分。第一句 ，Are you up？ 那么 you 和 up 是连读成了 you up，you up，, you up 并且语调上扬。Are you up？What's that smile？ 中间的单词 that 是做了弱读，开头的 th 不发音，并且结尾的爆破音 t 出现了失爆的现象，读成了 What's that smile？What's that smile？ Smile 做重读。Are you up? What's that smile? Did you bring home Greek food? 那么 did 和 you 发生了同化连读的现象，就成了 Did you? Did you? 第二行 Greek food, Greek 结尾的 k 出现了失爆的现象，咱们只做口型和舌位，但是把声音给吞掉，读成了 Greek food, Greek food， 并且这个句子语调上扬。Did you bring home Greek food? No, that's me. 那么标黄的单词都是重读，咱们放慢语速，提高音量。That's how you smile after you ride a bike all over Williamsburg delivering 14 orders of cupcakes. 第三行 ，ride 和 a 连读成了 ride, ride. 它的意思是骑马、骑自行车、骑摩托车等。All 和 over 连读成了 all over, all over. Williamsburg. 那么这个单词结尾的爆破音 g 出现了失爆的现象，咱们只需要把口型和舌位放在反 g 的位置，但是把声音给吞掉，读成了 Williamsburg。Williamsburg。下一行 delivering 正常读 ，fourteen 同样做了重读，并且 fourteen orders of 连读成了 fourteen orders of fourteen orders of cupcakes。中间的字母 p 发的爆破音 p 失去爆破 cupcakes cupcakes. That's how you smile after you ride a bike all over Williamsburg delivering 14 orders of cupcakes. And I do not wish to smile like this again. And 是弱读，读成了 n n， 并且 n 和 i 连读成了 n i n i。后面 not 结尾的 t 失去爆破。咱们做出口型，留出时间，不发声音，读成了 not not。下一行 to 是弱读，读成了 t t。Like 结尾的 k 失去爆破。This 和 again 连读成了 this again this again。And I do not wish to smile like this again. So you have to learn how to ride that bike. All right. Have 做重读。下一行 write that。结果的爆破音都出现了失爆的现象，读成了 ride that bike, ride that bike。最后 ，all right, right 结尾的 t 没有爆出来，语调上扬。So you have to learn how to ride that bike, all right? OK， 咱们来听一遍原声，按照原文中的语速自行模仿一遍。Are you up? What's that smell? Did you bring home Greek food? No, that's me. That's how you smell after.
after you ride a bike all over Williamsburg delivering 14 orders of cupcakes. And I do not wish to smell like this again. So you have to learn how to ride that bike, all right? Are you up? What a smile. Did you bring home great food? No, that's me. That's how you smile after you ride a bike all over Williamsburg delivering 14 orders of cupcakes. And I do not wish to smile like this again. So you have to learn how to ride a bike, all right? 下面我们针对今天素材中的重点表达进行一下句型拓展。第一个 ，order， 订单，订货。比如说 ，The store received an order for 200 roses this morning。商店今早接到要二百支玫瑰的订单。The store received an order for 200 roses this morning。再看一个例句 ，I like to cancel my order。我想取消订单。I like to cancel my order. 第二个单词 ride， 骑马、摩托车、自行车等。比如说 ，Most children learn to ride a bicycle at an early age. 大多数孩子小时候就学骑自行车。Most children learn to ride a bicycle at an early age. 再看一个例句 ，She got on her bicycle and rode away. 她骑上她的自行车离开了。She got on her bicycle and rode away. 那么今天的讲解就到这里。如果大家想要有效的提升自己的英语听力和口语水平，欢迎关注我的账号。我们下期再见。